Here I would like to discuss a few pitfalls, quirks and common problems that you might encounter when using MATLAB or Octave. If you are happy with everything, just skip this section. Number one, the M file name is wrong. There has to be a letter as first character. It's case sensitive. Please try to avoid any special characters. That's a good start to uh, actually get your M files running. Second problem, confusion of content and index of a vector or a matrix. For instance here, the vector has got these numbers that the content and the index is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So it's quite easy to mix that and uh, sometimes even, uh, especially in a matrix like this, that the index 1, 1 has got the content 1. So make sure that you always discern that you know what the index is and what the content. Third problem, quite often the index of a matrix or a vector is said to be negative or not to be an integer. So and then you run into problems. Have a look at this for loop. i, the index, goes up from minus 5 to 5 and the vector v at the position i is said to be i. In this case, MATLAB or Octave would uh, give an error message and it's worthwhile reading that. It's already telling us that it, the index has to be a real um, positive uh, integer. Um, you could in this case amend that in two different ways and let's have a look at that. One would be to, for instance, add a 6 here. In this case the first value is the minus 5 plus 6 is 1. So that would work and give this um, vector v. In my opinion, though it's running, in my opinion that's um, a bit confusing. I would rather change the um, thing that the index goes up from 1 to 11 and the index is used to calculate the content that is on the right hand side of line 3 change uh, the content to be i minus 5 uh, minus 6 i believe um, that would generate the same vector it's uh, the thinking is a bit uh, different whether the content is changed by in the loop or the index. Another common problem why loops are infinite. Let's have a look at this short program while loop. It's, uh, uh, it's adding up all the square numbers from one, uh, from one square to 100 square and it's when starting it it's running and make sure that you always check in this case, for instance, here this little busy sign is indicating that the loop is just not stopping. So we need to stop that either by pressing Ctrl C when the mouse is in this command um, window or pressing the pause followed by the uh, quit button. So obviously there needs to be something um, to, to be changed. So A uh, needs to be increased in the loop and the thing is running. This problem here occurs always with a while loops. It's quite common and that is that you set the index at the wrong position. Let's have a look at this one, this program and uh, why it is wrong though it is running. So when running this program it states that m is 2345. That's not what we wanted to get. We would like to see a matrix and that's why we uh, installed two while loops. The problem is that the index is set in a wrong way. That the 
j equals 1 needs to be shifted here. That is, whenever the j, um, the i uh, gets a new value, the j needs to start at 1 again. And just changing this little thing, uh, we get a matrix. So always check that and work that out. Uh, where the index is changed and set. It's quite a common problem, especially when there are many uh, loops um, in one program. Another quite common problem occurs when a command name is used as a variable. For instance, let's take this uh, program again, generate this matrix M and let's say, okay, we would like to uh, have calculate the sum of M. In this case, the uh, sum hasn't been used as a variable, so that gives the, it sums up each column, so gives four numbers. In case we used up the name or the variable name sum to calculate and store this number, we would not be able to uh, apply this MATLAB, MATLAB command um, any longer. So watch out, best is not to use any um, variable name similar or equal to um, something you would expect MATLAB to use uh, for um, an actual command. Another problem is that the variables are not cleared at the start of a program. So let's have a look here. Let's say, okay, we uh, would like first to plot this function again and um, uh, for values of x from 1 to 20. And we run that. Okay. And after that, we would like to change it just to x to i from 1 to 10 and would like to plot a different function, let's say minus 3. In this case, the function looks a bit strange and the problem is quite obvious <laughs> but or, uh, easy to forget that we haven't cleared the variable at the beginning. That is just clearing all parameters, all variables at the beginning um, immense that. Okay, all these problems occur when I do the programming myself and I guess in some cases you, even you, might have uh, these problems as well. So good luck with your programming.